When was the last time you tuned into your television to get a dose of music? Well, one of India's first 24 hours music channels, Channel V, has decided to strip itself of its musical content and showcase fictional and reality shows in a bit to woo the youth. The question is, is this just a trend or is it the beginning of the end of music on television? Mansi Fadnes finds out those answers. <laughs> those good old days when we used to sit glued to our television sets waiting for our favorite songs to be played fast forward to today and we have music channels showing us youngsters working on their so-called tasks struggling to win the ultimate prize or girls fighting it out for a boy and now taking their non-musical programming leaps ahead Channel V, one of India's first 24 hours music channels, has decided to play a different tune. We started this journey about two and a half to three years ago when we relaunched Channel V. And at that point in time, we were probably running a good 90-95% of our content was music. And at that point in time, we decided to shift away from that strategy and get into a scenario where we were creating a lot more customized youth programming. And the reason for that was very simple. We were very clear that we've always been a youth entertainment channel in this country and not just a music channel. So now I'm going to show you a TV scene for TVS Scooty Fair Plus. This gradual lean towards non-musical programming actually began a couple of years ago when Channel V cut down their musical content to just three hours every day. In fact, this shift had been in the pipeline for years and Channel V's former music programming head Luke Kenny Fields it's rather surprising that it established itself only now. They stopped being a music channel a long time ago uh, for, for logically evolutionary reasons because they saw that the fiction that they were producing was getting uh, you know, watched by whoever was watching and the music that they were playing again was just promotion-led music. Then you're not a music channel, then you're, just, then you're a fiction, a lifestyle fiction channel, a youth lifestyle fiction channel which also happens to play some music during the day. And it's not just Channel V alone that brought about the wave of youth-oriented shows. MTV India, which was launched as an independent music channel in the year 1995, caught onto the youth space in 2003 with roadies. And the competition sparked off even further in 2007 when UTV Bindas targeted the youth and primarily marketed itself as a youth entertainment channel. According to KPMG's Jahil Thakkar, the channels wanted to attract a wider audience with a mix of music and reality shows. And according to KPMG's Jahil Thakkar, this gave them an edge in the ratings game. Still music oriented but it's a different take on music as opposed to just playing music videos. Um, now again, it's, a, it's an attempt to differentiate. Uh, by the channel by introducing these while they still retain the music kind of branding because it's, these are all music related programs in that sense uh, but at the same time they're moving away from just you know playing looping video after video or playing Bollywood you know trailer after trailer and today music channels are not just competing with each other but other general entertainment channels too in the 90s, when there were just seven to eight channels, each of them had their own identity. But today, we have about 650 channels to choose from. And this is why music channels are trying everything they can to pull in the viewers. Not playing the typical Bollywood music videos that, that is available to every other music channel out there. Uh, there is no differentiation in that content. Uh, there is uh, there is no premium we can charge for that kind of content, and there's there's really uh, it has nothing to do really with the with the channel brand, uh, and therefore we will only be creating and we'll only be airing shows that are proprietary to us that that reflect our values that we feel have a strong connect with our audience. Jail Tucker says that globally too, music programming is going through a difficult phase and resorting to a lot of experimentation. Music channels across the world um, have, uh, you know, have been moving away from pure music content. Uh, you know, so there are a few that 
that are there but they really uh, you know act as niche programming you know to be you know targeted at a very niche audience put on late at night act as background that kind of thing but if you see the trend around the world most of them have now started to have a mix of uh, you know music along with reality she just fell but even as music channels like channel v and mtv are banking heavily on their non music programming luke can he says that the appetite for music on tv has not yet died down while we were setting up the channel while we were creating the channel uh, we also spoke to a lot of the youth we went to the various cities metros and spoke to about 50 100 kids from who are in college today and what they would not like to see were everything that all the other channels are doing today so they do not want to see reality they do not want to see uh, non music content they do not want to see clutter of uh, uh, of you know music that they do not they want to see their own uh, 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 independent artists more in fact even after the advent of the ipod and youtube the television viewership of music channels has recently seen a bit of growth its share in the total television viewership in india grew from 2.6% in 2009 to 3.2% in 2012 so while a host of music channels are trying to stay afloat with pure music changing audience preferences continue to add to the challenge it's a tough battle Will Channel V's decision put an end to an era of channels that brought in international music and indie pop culture into our homes? Only time will tell. We'll know soon how Channel V fares after the shift in programming. Moving on, this month's big ticket movie Bol Bachchan brings back the success duo Ajay Devgan as an actor and Rohit Shetty as a director. But that's not the only role Ajay Devgan has to play this time around as he also is the producer of the movie. We spoke to both of them to understand how the business of movie making has changed. Director Rohit Shetty and actor producer Ajay Devgan are back after a series of box office hits. Not only was Bollywood's biggest franchise Golmaal their brainchild, 2011's biggest action movie Singham was also created by this duo. Bachchan their big venture which has all the ingredients of a masala entertainer is completely inspired by Rishikesh Mukherjee's 1979 comic film Golmaal Golmaal was 35 years ago and when you adapt a film to today's times where cinema has changed audiences have changed characters have changed mindsets have changed um everything changes So uh because we were inspired uh, from Golmaal we thought it was only ethical to buy the rights otherwise if you see the film and if we wouldn't have said that we are inspired from Golmaal I don't think we needed the rights once the film is released and you see the film you'll realize you know like how different the film is from the original one Nowadays when it's all about making or breaking new records at the box office the most important thing is to create enough hype around a film for a guaranteed good opening it's all about the buzz The opening of a film depends on the first look of the film and if your first promo works uh you've got it right it's like it's like uh, playing a uh, one day one day cricket where you know those are the first 15 overs and you if you got your score right then you you you're set you cannot create buzz by interviews and things like this you can only enhance it or you can remind create the audience awareness. yeah you can remind the audience okay you know remember that film we are coming uh but they with the first look and the first promo they decide if they want to see the film or not see the film There's a lot at stake for Ajay as he's also the producer of Bol Bachchan. His last big budget film Raju Chacha which was released in 2000 bombed at the box office. After that he has been producing movies on and off and has Son of Sardar also releasing this year. So is it still a tough business? It's become difficult in the sense because budgets have also gone up and earlier if a film had did not work you did not have much to lose now the budgets are so high that you have lots to lose i mean you would you would hear of a film losing 20 crores 30 crores i mean earlier it was 1 crore 2 crores 5 crores 
so the risks have gone up i'll give you an example of a kahani if a kahani works the way it has worked that is that is the area you make a lot of money but uh, if a if a big film i mean so many such films who which have done 100 crores business just must have even. just broken even or yeah. made two or three crores for the producer yeah. ours is the only business where you invest 60 to 70 crores just for three to four crores to get back yeah. you know it happens in no business playing an important role in ajay's recent successes is director rohit chetty who has managed to establish himself as a man with the midas touch and so it isn't surprising to hear about him being one of the highest paid directors in b town and he commands a share in the profits too when i'm producing also i think he's doing everything and uh, and i think it's only right that uh, he should share the profit with me masti chura और थोड़ी खुशियां चुरा सो विल बोल बच्चन डू द ट्रिक फॉर अजय एंड रोहित एंड विल इट प्लेस देम बैक इन द हंड्रेड क्रोर क्लब आफ्टर सिंगर वील नो सून Right now it's time for a quick break but as stick tune is we bring you the amazing Spider-Man and tell you whether it's worth spending a weekend with him. 